Greetings, gentle viewers. And howdy, howdy. Last episode completely against what I was expecting, and I assume completely against what you were expecting. What are you talking about? I know everything that happens forever and ever. Okay, completely against what he was expecting, too. <laughs> Billy convinced me that Sumugi is the mastermind. Yeah, cool. Speaking of being the mastermind, <laughs> we're the bittersweet gamers. <laughs> I'm Mono Wee Squared. And I'm a Pinyakuma. <laughs> well, uh, I picked the good one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to head out to the trial. Well, no, time to talk to everybody. Well, what do you got to say for yourself? But... Kibo seems completely different from earlier. Maybe it's like equipping all those weapons enhanced his feelings, too. Yeah, absolutely. Go watch robot anime. See what happens. It's from that one thing. It happens with cosplay, too. When you wear a cosplay, you start acting like that character. You don't There's say. absolutely no reason I'm bringing this up right now. <laughs> Maki, you brought that thing with you, huh? You act like you're cold and distant, but you're surprisingly warm and serious. <laughs> I finally feel like I figured out how close we are now. Yeah. What are you trying to pull? With Kibo's eyes, huh? If Gonta couldn't even see it, I doubt Kibo would be able to see it either. Even though he's a robot and has already proven to have interesting functions all over his body and in his eyes, there's no way he could be as good as Gonta, a human, <laughs> because we all know that biology is better than robots. I mean, you can you can charge me with bringing my biases into things, but I would charge her with bringing her biases into things. <laughs> I'm making fun of myself, for God's sake. Um... I appreciate being pandered to, so I am gloating about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It happens so infrequently. Okay, Kibo, what do you mean? You. What good can your eyes do? <laughs> it's not like you've got good eyesight, right? You're not some yeah. kind of robot or nothing. Uh, that was true. Until I installed my zoom function. Huh? Oh, your zoom function? Makes sense. Yes. It was in my lap, next to the jetpack and rocket launcher. God dang it! It's not a rocket launcher! And, okay, you know what? Maybe he did have rocket launchers on his shoulder, but it was like Kibo readied his rocket launcher and fired his beam. There's such a weapon in science fiction called a beam launcher. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> and maybe I'm wrong about that, but then why did they have that? He readied his rocket launcher and then he fires a beam. Kill me, just kill me, kill everything. So, you said I shouldn't do that! Duly chastised. <laughs> Thanks to that zoom function, my vision has increased a hundredfold! Yeah, it would have been really useful if you would have been able to use some of this stuff before. Huh? A hundredfold?! What did you say?! That's a power-up that goes way past your default settings! But... This is the true talent of the ultimate robot! One... <laughs> Customizable parts! But one that he, like despised before. Because I'm a robot, I can evolve in ways that are simply not possible for a human. I've finally accepted that. There are no noticeable differences between us. <laughs> I think you read the wrong line there, Billy. Come on, why don't you try that one more time, Mr. Katubi? There are noticeable, notable differences between us. What's wrong, but, Tubi? But there's nothing for me to be ashamed of. Kibo.exe has malfunctioned. I also. Because with my talent, it's possible that I can save you all. Kibo took the bug back from Maki. Leave it to me. And eat it! And ate it? <laughs> Get in the right genre, man! It's worth a shot. At maximum zoom, my vision is on par with that of a microscope. So still not quite as good as Gonta, but pretty good. Shut up! Maki, I'll borrow this bug back for a moment. So, uh, back when we mentioned the nano machines, uh -huh. guess it was that, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He stared at it intensely. Gee. I see it. I'll print out this memory. It appears to be over 9,000. 
Yeah, very much appreciate the uh, Bug Kuma Scouter <laughs> equipment. Very nice, very nice. They're Monokumas. Yeah, of course. Of course. Nano Kuma. Nano Kuma. Yeah. Katubi. No Katubi. <laughs> Just as before, Kibo printed a picture from right out of his mouth. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> he took it from his lips and handed it to me. Huh? Is this is this a freaking Monokuma? It's oh my god! It's got the pinkies. Is this a normal system of the Gopher Project that was taken over, like the Monocubs? Assuming well, that's true. This looks like some evidence for it. Um oh. um um. I'm sorry. <laughs> no no really. Didn't I actually make a joke? About what? About us all being really big and it's tiny machines with cameras flying around. Oh my god! Wait, I, if that's correct. Oh, well, they would have been taken out by the Electrobot. Okay, never mind. I have yeah. no idea, man. <laughs> I just made a dumb yeah, throwaway yeah. joke about us being giants. And did I really say that? I think you did, man. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> hey. Are these the. <laughs> Sorry! I gotta. Uh, I gotta, I gotta find that episode. Where, where did I say that? I don't remember. We're like ninety episodes deep in this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't serious. <laughs> Are these? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Take five. Are these the small bugs Gonto was talking about? Yes. A human's eye would not be able to see things that exist at a nanoscopic level. Right? <laughs> For Gonta to have noticed them, his vision really was superhuman. Hey. Hey, what are these stupid little <laughs> Kumas holding? Are they only cameras? Are they wearing earmuffs? Freaking cameras? No, those are headsets. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well then. Like the one you're wearing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we ask them? Hey, tiny robots! Meanwhile, Nano Kuma hears, whoa, <laughs> yeah. and is like blown away. <laughs> huh? We we can talk to these things. Leave it to me. Yes, I have already installed an augmented hearing function. What was that? I I, I guess anything is possible. I, go ahead. Start talking now or I'll squish you one by one. Ooh, ooh, I want to be good cop. <laughs> Whatever function you serve, you'll be unable to carry it out. Do you accept these terms? <laughs> Kibo asked it in a way that made it clear it was not up for negotiation. I can't believe I made that joke. They call themselves Nanokumas. Of course. Apparently, they're members of the Monocubs. Yeah, especially saying it like this, it does make it seem like they were part of the original architecture system because the Monocubs were there to use the Exosols, which only they yep. could use. Yep, 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 yep. And we were told that the Exosols were made to protect us. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what their function possibly could be. Well, their function what? seems pretty obvious. This little thing? No, no, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what these guys, the Nanokumas, function is. Then there were actually six monocubs? Uh, no, like 45,000 or something. Not quite. These don't exist as individuals, but rather as a hive mind. They travel through the air in a swarm, covering every square inch of this campus. So it's not just one. It's a whole swarm of monocubs. Oh, God. Ah! If they're that small, they could have been in my nose or mouth, and I'd never know. Could have been. They are in right now. <laughs> I don't like the thought of that. And their function is to record footage of the events that are unfolding here and transmit it to Monokuma. Oh, okay. What? Well, the idea is that way we see, or that way we have verification that Wherever Monokuma is, he is seeing everything that happens, mm -hmm. not because of installed camera equipment, but because of the Nano Cubs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Using their tiny cameras, they record footage and transmit it wirelessly. Wait, Nano Kuma or Nano Cubs? Nano Kuma. Okay, it is Nano Kuma. Got it. Mother Kuma receives the footage and parses it before sending it off to Monokuma. Well, Mother Kuma is now dead. You mean like a security camera? 
they're so small that they can't be seen with the naked eye. They must be the security cameras. The Six Monocub! Watch out for him. <laughs> it's silver colored, just as appropriately. Well, I mean, kind of an urban camo, but close enough. What the actual hell? Hey. So there were security cameras after all. And they'd been recording the footage wirelessly? Kokichi was correct to use the electrobomb. That punk. When he used it, the Nanokumas were unable to send any footage back to Monokuma. You're right. Yes. In that case, I doubt Monokuma knew the real culprit. Uh... Um, the more I learn, the more I wish that Kukichi had just worked with us normally. And Miyu. Yeah. These guys could have... Changed ended. everything. We had everything we needed to, to end this killing game ourselves with all 16 people. Even if it was as simple as hijack the Exosols and destroy Mother Kuma mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then the Mono Cubs. Well, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. From that point, we still would have to find the mastermind, but the danger would have been gone. And the mastermind wouldn't have any way of enforcing anything. Right. Even if, and it's a damn shame for me to even suggest this, but even if after destroying Mother Kuma and the Moto Cubs, they then destroyed the Exosols so they couldn't be used again. Right. Or hijacked, like... I mean, that's still a better thing than what it was. Right. But... That's impossible. No matter how many times he reincarnates, he's a liar down to his soul. Unless memories are modular and who knows who that guy was. That's true. I never would have imagined that the sixth Mono Cub would be security cameras. What kind of robot does he get? The sixth guy always gets his own unique unit. <laughs> That's how Monokuma was able to keep watch of this, quite literally, entire academy, no matter where and when it was. He's toying with us. Oh, you don't say! He's not just confident, he's sure he's going to win. I know that must be what he's thinking. Oh, yeah. At least we know that important detail now. I'm glad you told us before the class trial. Thank you! Yeah! Thanks, Kibo! You've right really away. been a big help! Tsumugi, why, why are you speaking that way? You're welcome, but we should get going now. That's true. Yeah, we don't know what Monokuma will do if we show up late. That's fine. <laughs> You're right. Then let's start heading to the trial ground. Okay. Okay. Man, I'm so excited! This is gonna be great! Ramble, 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 ramble! My arms! Did you say marms? Maybe. What does marms mean? Well, no, I meant to say my arms. I just said it too fast. A bit my tongue. All right, let's go. There's no point in worrying anymore right now. We only need to think about getting out of here alive. And so, we put the destroyed Ultimate Academy behind us and headed to the final trial grounds. Carrying the last of the survivors, the elevator brought us down. What could be waiting for the five of us? I'm sure this is the end of despair and the beginning of hope. Everything, everything ends here. One way or the other. The killing game of Hope's Peak Academy the killing game of Jabberwock Island, and the killing game of this Ultimate Academy. How much more until they're satisfied? This is the end of it, no matter how successful this franchise is. <laughs> I'm tired.
tired of this. I'm tired of writing the same game. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> We're going to end it. We're going to end this cruel game. And no, I, I don't think all three games are the same game over and over. I don't mean that at all. Right, right, I right. just, I had my shot and I had to take it. So this is the final trial grounds. Huh. How very <laughs> blue. <laughs> it's not up to you or me to decide whether or not this is the end. It's up to the sales figures, eh? <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Well, well. More importantly, since you guys requested that we hold this class trial, I'm sure you won't mind allowing me to participate too, right? Right. It'll be easier to argue if I do. That's true. True. I was going to have you participate this time, but I didn't think you'd volunteer. What is it? You seem confident. <laughs> I'm always My magic. confident. You're confident now, but I'm going to turn your body into an omnibus with my magic. Oh, uh, what? You mean, like, a really large set of papers? Stack of papers. Actually. The biggest stack of papers. Uh, an omnibus? You mean the vehicle or like a compilation book or... You're really bugging me. Knock it off. I won't be provoked by your cheap threats. Aww. He seems really provoked! Yeah, but... If Pops is gonna participate, things are definitely gonna get pretty damn interesting. Father! You can do it, Father! I believe in the me that believes in the you that believes in the sister of the believing dog and the bears! Eh, I... I'm... I'm afraid. Get a rock hard ranger! Yeah, I'm not even gonna read That's that. wonderful. This is beautiful. How stupid. Hmm? Cheer me on! You guys are totally participating too! No! <laughs> no ball. Ahem. You kids have a pivotal role to play. What kind of dad would I be if I haunt the spotlight? And if you kids don't play a pivotal role, then what use are any of you? Um... And the, the belief of the book that read the ham sandwich... Read your line, Monotaro! Pivotal role? I don't even know what a poffet is! Can we really it do? Uh, I don't know! <laughs> Looking forward to it! Oh, don't worry! As a good parent, I will do my darkness to motivate you! Oh boy! Corporal punishment! My favorite! Well now... With this button! I told you! <laughs> what? What's that button for? Oh, it's a Marlow Cup detonator that I prepared to ensure my adorable kids do their very best. Huh? Detonator! Yeah. Yep. With the push of this button, I'll detonate the bobs inside each of your bodies. So make sure to try really hard, or I'll start pressing this button. Got it? I've got a rock hard rager. Yeah, not anymore. Good enough for me, press. Ah! <laughs> hey! Here. You know what they say. If your kids are cute, put a bomb inside of them. Word. <laughs> Words to live by. You stupid. That, that, that's not a real saying. Would you like to argue that point? I know you cute kids can do this! You just need the proper motivation. So no need to worry. Just make sure you all play pivotal roles. That's all. I foresee a quick end to my brief life. He ah! Ah! No more. Oh, 
see here. What? This is ridiculous! How absurd! I knew it. You really are the worst. Hey, Moto Cubs, why don't you betray Moto Kuma and work with us? Well, we've got bombs inside of us for one! I guess that's a good reason to, <laughs> to do what he says, okay. I'm the best at being the worst! Don't you think so? <laughs> I tell ya, people can't get enough of my crude antics. Then. All right, let's get started. Let's get this crude climax underway. All right, still on meme. Here's hoping we don't miss the hidden Monokuma. <laughs> Incidentally, thank you, Mastermind Monokuma from the Discord for telling us about the save glitch. We know what lines we can't safely save behind, so we should be able to avoid the very spoilery glitch that could happen. We don't know what that is, but we understand it'll come. Now, I don't know what on earth we're going to do, but we'll figure something out. So thank you. All right, this one should be a doozy. Well, I don't know where we're going to start, but I feel like we're, we've are we got a handle on things. Is anybody going to say anything? <laughs> um, why is everyone screaming again? I don't understand. I'd like to begin by asking Shuichi a question, since this class trial was his idea. Yeah, fair enough. At some point, you're going to have to say what we're doing. What exactly is the point of this class trial? Yeah! Why are we having a class trial if no one died? Whoa! My voice was way louder than I expected. I might be on a roll today. Hey! I'm no slouch of being a loud mouth either! Don't remind me! This isn't a contest! Me too! <laughs> Monadam's voice is super soft, though. Everyone cool with him getting blown up? Why does everyone hate the robots? You're all against me. I mean, I'm really more of a, you know, piloted robots thing instead of androids, but it's just everyone in this game has to find the most robot -y thing and take a dump all over They're it. just a bunch of robophobes. You said that the killing game would end if you exposed the truth at the class trial. So, you bastards, what is the purpose of this class trial? Oh, that's a good question. But his voice was quiet. Does voice volume not matter at all? Why would you think voice volume matters? Don't get sucked into their pace, David. Yeah, you're right, you're right. They're I need just to... gonna waste time. I just need to ignore the Moto Cubs. The purpose of this class trial. All right, I'll give you an answer. The reason I called for this trial is... <laughs> we try a pass case. That's it! <laughs> I wish to retry a past case. A retrial? For which case? <laughs> the first one. The murder of Rantaro Amami. I've found new evidence relevant to the case. In light of that evidence, I demand a retrial. What's the point of a retrial? The result of the first class trial has already been settled! Yeah, yeah! What if our vote was wrong? <laughs> ah, I see, I see, I see. It would be Monokuma's fault. Mm -hmm. Because Monokuma knew the correct answer. Yep. And not only violated his own rules, but he, he knew the correct answer and he gave us... He didn't kill everyone because they vo didn't vote correctly. You right, know? so it's entirely a sham. Monokuma said the blackened for that incident was Kaede. Oh my god! How is that gonna hit him all? A uh, pretty hard? Jesus! Are you saying he was wrong? Whoa, 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 what? Yeah, he was wrong and he knew he was wrong, because he's the one that did it. Mono Kid, your reactions are too extreme! It's making the rest of us look bad! You guys don't have a very good handle on what you're doing or why, right? Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, he's already got the detonator! 
To test the validity of our vote, we are going to retry the entire case. If Monokuma was wrong, the validity of these trials would be in question. The entire killing game wouldn't make sense anymore. Mm-hmm. I see. You think you can destroy the game by calling out my failure as the Game Master! You shouldn't have a problem with this if you have nothing to hide, Monokuma. <laughs> so in the end, the first case has become the focal point yet again! Uh-huh. Yet again. What a twist! What an interesting twist! Okay, let's do this! So what is this new truth? There are several. But before we go any further, I want to discuss Rantaro's talent. Did you learn what his talent was? Rantaro's ultimate talent was a mystery, but now I know. Rantaro's ultimate talent is the ultimate quiz master mind victim! <laughs> That's it! He was the ultimate survivor. I know, I know, I know! He didn't do a very good job of that, <laughs> but that has nothing to do with his talent. Ultimate survival? Well, this is one of those talents that you kind of get assigned as opposed to you exhibiting, you know, like the ultimate lucky student chosen by lottery. I saw it too. He said so in his video. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. That's why you get this perk, the survivor perk. Rantaro became the ultimate survivor after surviving a past killing game. After his memory was wiped, he participated in the killing game once again. So this wasn't Rantaro's first killing game? That part is really important. I don't know the answer. Why did he participate in a second killing game? Has I, it, I, don't, I mean, why did we participate in a second in a, in a killing game to begin with? I don't think he had a choice. Yeah, people don't volunteer here. Oh, well, no. I'm not sure yet. Actually, the video said, remember, this is what you wanted. I understand that, but maybe that's different for him. Mm -hmm. But after I learned that Rantaro was the ultimate survivor, I deduced his objective. His objective was to let the cat outside because he is bothering us. Why are you looking at me like that? Something bothered us! That's what you wanted me to say, right? <laughs> Rantaro's objective? The reason he went to the library before he was killed, and why he knew about the hidden door. Didn't he just happen to randomly notice the hidden door? That is very possible, and it makes sense. It's just not what happened. Yeah. That's what I thought at the time, but it appears that assumption was false. There was an actual reason Rantaro knew about the door. A survivor perk! That reason is... I, I looked at him and I was like, wait, I do have to make sure I got this right, right? <laughs> Rantaro was given this monopad as a kind of survivor perk. It has a map of the entire academy including areas that had not yet been unlocked. Of course, that includes the hidden room. To think Rantaro was given that as a survivor perk. He found out about the hidden room with this map? The monopad also contained a video Rantaro recorded for himself. The clue to end the killing game. If the Mastermind ever needed a spare Monokuma, they would head to the hidden room. The message was what inspired him to go to the library to investigate the hidden room. A time limit is now in effect! If a murder does not occur by nighttime, two days from now, that every student forced to participate in this killing game will die! Mauled to shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making... <coughs> Machine! Machine! <laughs> the master
mastermind would have gone to that room to mass produce Monokuma once time ran out. So in order to figure out who the mastermind was, Rantaro went to the hidden room at the back of the library just before time ran out. That's right. Rantaro must have come to the same conclusion that Kaede and I did. It sure is ironic that the ultimate survivor died because of Kaede's trap. Ho, 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 ho. Now, she certainly intended for that to be the case. But, yeah. But if Rantaro had a clue like that, why didn't he come to us with it? He didn't trust us. Mm -hmm. Now, he should have. <laughs> right, right. I assume because he didn't trust us. The killing game had just started, after all. What he said in his video message certainly didn't help, either. He told himself to only share this information with people he could trust. He didn't have any recollection of filming this message, right? That means he must have had trouble believing it as well. As expected. Right. It was probably confusing to him, too. That's why he didn't consult us. Why the long face? It's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? Mm. He didn't know if he could trust that video, or trust us, or even trust himself. He must have been so lost. Yeah. I mean, he should have trusted us. Or at least someone. But how would he have known that? Yeah. I don't blame him, but he still should have done it. That I, I don't blame him. But with the time limit approaching, he decided to take a chance. He maybe waited way too long, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess he knew the Mastermind would be there to make the Monokumas from the Monokuma machine to go kill everybody. That's true. There's no need for that, because I'm going to end this game. I've already decided. You're going to end this game? It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Yeah. Can you even accomplish such a feat? I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. So we went to the library alone without telling anyone. And then he got killed by Kaede's trap. Again? About Tsumugi? Uh huh. Man, you're right, Billy. <laughs> you are right, my dude. Oh, say it more. I hear it so infrequently. If we're retrying this case, then we have to retry everything in it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Which includes a piece of evidence that made perfect sense as an alibi before. We had to talk about it. It's like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the only people who knew about the hidden door at that time were Rantaro and I. I had Kaede with me and I thought I could trust her. So I told her about the hidden room. That was the difference between me and Rantaro, I suppose. I had Kaede. And Kaede's the one who killed him. What a snake. She certainly tried to. We understand the reasoning, but she certainly did formulate a plan and execute it. That part's not in question. Hey, so what are you guys talking about? Is this something I forgot? Don't worry about it. Go back to watching horse races. <laughs> I don't know anything about what they're saying. Is this something that transpired before we were born? I mean, yeah, this batch has no clue what's going on. So what's your point? You know who Rantaro was and why he did what he did. But it's pointless now, isn't it? No, it's not pointless. 
Now that we know this new information, if we look back at Rantaro's case, uh -huh. <laughs> we can find a new truth that we missed at the time. A new truth? I don't really get it, but we just need to look at Rantaro's case again, right? Then let's do it. Yes, let's do this together. With my vast magical powers, <laughs> I'll turn Monokuma into an omnibus. Now you're probably not talking about a collection of books or government documents or government legislation. So what do you want to turn him into? I don't really get that either, but I guess we're going to republish Monokuma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure either, but the real battle is just beginning. We'll prove that the result was wrong and corner the mastermind together. Okay. Oh. God, there's nobody here, but that's why there's the Moto Cubs, I guess. Here to waste our time. Yeah. Rentaro went to the library. Yeah. Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Yeah. Using the information provided by the survivor perk, he made his way to the hidden door. Yep. To expose the identity of the mastermind. Okay. But before he could achieve that goal, he got hit in the head with a shot put ball and died. Yeah. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine. Eh? Yeah, fully automatic? Well, no. There was no culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder uh -huh. Uh -huh. was Rantaro himself. Okay, here it is. That's a fact, right? Why do you look so the nervous? The camera went off just before the incident. And only Rantaro was in the picture. Huh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, how do we prove uh, that? Then? Go to the, uh, uh, uh. We need, we need hidden door in the library because you can exit it without needing a car key. I mean, that's why I went to it right at the end, but was there a statement for that? Let's see. Rantaro went to the library. Well, the whole, just before he, he was by himself is what we're re rebutting. The shot put ball and died. Hell yeah! Because of Kaede's <laughs> fully automatic killing machine. Okay. Yeah, fully automatic. You sure about this? Well, I might not be right on the bullet, but this is what we need to refute. Was Rantaro? I'm sad. You missed. Ah, fudge. Yeah. That because this didn't does it, it's like there's a step we're missing. You understand? Yeah. Let's see what we've got. I, I mean, I know what you were trying to get at, but this is this is like skipping a step. But yeah. what, what we're trying to actually say is he wasn't the only person there. Right, right. And that would be the monopad because it says that the mastermind will go to the library's hidden room. So when he showed up there, the mastermind should have been there too. And that's, I, I mean, that's the only thing that would make sense in terms of actually moving forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. we're trying to prove something else. Oh yeah, see? And what he Damn just it. said is somebody was here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rantaro went to the library. somebody was there. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro. I am sad. God dang it. Well, you missed. That's a fact, right? Darn it. <laughs> time of the murder <laughs> was Rantaro. I am sad. Oh, you just missed it. I did That's it again! Fact, right? <laughs> give up on the V! And only never give in! Never! Never! Rantaro that was like Rage Churchill. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, man. That was a terrible shot. What? Yep, you missed entirely! How did that miss? Maybe you need to install a zoom function. Ah, well, Only Rantaro was in the picture. it's true that I haven't been playing something like Rantaro Armored Core lately. <laughs> You're embarrassing us on the internet. Don't you know that everything on the internet stays there forever? Was Rantaro? I'm sad. Okay, do you feel That's good wrong. now? Yes. <laughs> no, Rantaro was not the only one in the library at the time the murder occurred. This survivor perk monopad is proof of that. Why would that monopad be evident? Because it was taken inside. Oh yeah, I didn't even... <laughs> we didn't even think about that. I uh -uh. just realized. Durr. 
The monopad was given exclusively to Rantaro as his survivor perk, correct? That way, Kokichi. But when we searched Rantaro's body, he didn't have it on his person. You know, we missed that detail. We did. I was wondering about it, but then just, or rather, I was wondering about his monopad, but never thought that when they were like he had nothing on his person, it did not occur to me that they meant that monopad he was clearly carrying. Yeah, yeah. He only had his student handbook monopad. Oh, he did have that? Yes. Okay, then we, I'm just full of crap, apparently. Happens. Which means that someone took this monopad from Rantaro after the murder. That's very wrong! Oh? No, oh, no, I'm doomed! Wow, that's what we've been saying! What? Uh, keep quiet, will you? I don't have time for your nonsense right now. Yes! Show them what for, Shuichi! <laughs> really? I have no clue what anyone is talking about. If we don't chime in soon, Pops is gonna push the detonator. Okay, so what are you gonna say? Just, nah. -uh. Like, I don't have to respond to that. That's not an argument. <laughs> then we better not let these fucking chumps run their mouths anymore! Okay? This might be hard. Hidden door. Final picture of Rundar. A bloody monopad is disgusting! You should wash it right away. That's, That's not a real rebuttal! <laughs> yeah! Ah! Someone stole the survivor perk, monopad! Where's the proof? No way there's a bloody thief! Ah! What blade lock? Hit your button, hit your button! But remember, Rantaro brought the survivor perk monopad to the library. And if it's missing it now, the picture, yeah. that uh -huh. must mean someone stole it. Because of the handprint. That's yeah. how we he proved it. He brought that monopad to the library? I think there's maybe no way that's possible. I think maybe. All he had on him was the student handbook monopad. He didn't bring the survivor perk with him. What? Well, that wasn't it. Three. What? Survivor's perk monopad? I, I thought I... Maybe no oh, way I see. That's you're on possible. the wrong one. All he had on him was the student handbook monopad. He didn't bring the survivor perk with him. No, that's not it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, so we'll just wait and make sure it's... He didn't bring the survivor perk with him. You cannot assert it was stolen. Oh. Yep, yep, that's right. Ah. Uh, okay, no, that was it. So we just had the wrong one. Okay, okay what are the truth blades? Add on him was the student handbook monopad. Survivor's perk monopad is covered in blood. He didn't bring the survivor perk with him. No. The then it's the hidden door right there. Okay. I was wrong. I'm not sure what we're missing, but he brought. Bring the survivor perk with what him. What is the problem? Okay, let's just push all the way through it again. Yeah. Is there something fundamental we're missing? Like, I, I don't get it. it. If it's it's either the picture or the monopad. Yeah. The monopad has the blood, and the picture shows him carrying the darn thing. Right. So, I mean, did I hit it wrong? Oh, he brought that mono. He didn't bring the survivor perk with him. What? I'll cut through your words. I, I must. I must have hit the other statement first instead uh, of because of all no, the spinning. There is no That's doubt Rantaro brought the survivor perk monopad to the library. Ah, well, I guess it's my own fault. The picture taken just before he died clearly shows him holding it. That could be his student handbook monopad for all you fucking know. That's why I thought that it would be the survivor's perk one because it's covered in blood. Yeah. No, it was definitely this same monopad. You see the way the blood has dried here? The outline of his fingers matches how he was holding it in the picture. It's true. Oh, you're right. Shortly after this photo was taken, Rantaro was struck in the head by the shot put ball. Do you think that's when this bloody outline on the monopad was formed? You know what this makes me think of? This is why when you murder someone, you dispose of your evidence. <laughs> not that I would know. This is also not endorsement of, uh, I, I think you're the King Sussy Baka right now, David. Uh, believe in the me that believes. No. Uh oh. I do. That's why the monopad Rantaro is holding in this picture. 
has to be the same monopad we have now. Wh what? Come on, no overreacting! It makes us look like we're not paying attention! Scream all you want! Monoske is the one that's gonna get blown up! Later. Monokid! And nothing of value was lost. <laughs> I was so upset my cute cubs lost that my finger slipped. But those were some pretty fireworks. Not really. Even in death, my kid's a real cutie. I hear lions push their cubs into bottomless ravines to kill them. Well, no, they don't push them in there to kill them. They push, throw them off cliffs so that they can become stronger by climbing back up. Do they actually do that? I don't think so. I think that's just made up. They don't kill them. So there was a thief, huh? I can't believe someone would do something so evil. So who took the monopad? Do you know anything else? Do we know anything about the person who took Montaro's monopad? We do! Yes, I think we do. Let me get the facts straight and think. Time to run over some prostitutes. Me realizing I haven't saved and I bet I'm going to miss the Monokuma that must be here. Oh no. Just like you missed that box. We're effing doomed. Oh no. This is what I get for playing an RPG instead of an action game. <laughs> I'm doomed! Help! Ah, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm being punished for my hubris. <laughs> Well, stop leaving your hubris out all over the place. I live here, all right? I can do what I want in the privacy of my own home. <laughs> There's not a Monokuma, is there? I haven't seen one. Darn it, draw distance, get, get larger. I mean, two. Up uh, two, apparently. Thinking time. Thinking time. Second. Why not? Yeah, there we go. Don't ask me why he had that. But he did. I mean, they just they just told us. Yeah. Hi, Billy. Hey, how's it going? Don't you really hate that? I do. I really do. Well, that's just mean. I mean, you can only get like one anyway. Yeah, I know, but it's taunting you at that point. At, at least the back and forthy gives you the illusion of potentially getting it. What? are these billboards? Oh, I haven't even been looking. Uh, I have, and they don't look familiar. Huh. Which motopad was taken away? Motokumas. The survivor Kai part? days. No, the, the survivor part. Yeah. No, no, don't bounce off a wall into the wrong lane. Good. Yeah, we don't really have much room for error right now. Yeah, so I can't mess around. The Moto Cubs kind of did a number on us. That's funny. <laughs> I hate them, they hated me, and destroyed us because I understood the mechanics incorrectly. And thus you can see how false understanding leads to failure. Okay, well that's uh, Shuichi talking to Makoto. So maybe the other two were from the flashbacks and I just didn't remember them. I'm staring. Now yeah, you do you. You do what you're doing. But you told me to put my hubris away. Red! Mm -hmm. 
and it won't come up if you're over it. Oh, that's just mean. See? That's a car, that's a car, that's a car! That's a car, that's a car, that's a car! Now I'm paying attention now. Where was that photo pad taken to? At uh, the mastermind room. The hidden room. Secret room, what was it called? Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! There we go, we gotta line up, hit the correct prostitute. <laughs> now one more, buddy, one more. Oh no, there's still a Monokuma! I haven't seen one. Oh no! Oh jeez! Nope, oh it made it. Come on, please don't be one! Lord only knows how many mini games we're going to have to play in this, the greatest of all trials. Well, probably quite a lot, and I'm fine with that. It's just, you know... Okay, it's, it's like... That's like Shuichi standing between something bathed in red. Oh, no, 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 that was Shuichi standing in between uh, Monokuma and Kibo ah, fighting. Ah, ah, we're okay, gonna do okay. a class trial. Oh my god, kill me, this is so fucking boring. <laughs> well, I can rest easy now that I know what that image was. Yes! Ah, oh, excellent. I'm skilled. <laughs> See? Eh, we got five minutes left, it's fine. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're so motivated. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of cars. Far as right. Far right hand. Okay. Don't... Don't say... Don't say that it made me think there was a Monokuma. Oh, sorry, sorry. Who can enter the hidden room? I mean, the mastermind? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Mastermind. This is a remarkably... <laughs> had extra room. Straightforward, I guess. The one who took that monopad is the mastermind. I'm sure of it. Right. The mastermind? The survivor perk monopad was found in the library's hidden room. And only the mastermind would have been able to enter that room, correct? Between the time Rentaro died and when we found him, they put that monopad in the hidden room? You know, I better save. <laughs> I agree. It's just, I don't know how many saves we'll get. And if we missed a darn Monokuma? Yeah, well I didn't see one. I know, I know, I'm probably focusing on the wrong thing. Nope, that's impossible. How's uh, so. up? Impossible? Why? Huh? You don't know? Why, even my cute little cubs have already figured it out. Oh, he's just throwing them to their deaths. Uh, yeah, yeah, obviously, obviously. S since he doesn't have to worry about, that was funny, <laughs> you see her? Yeah, 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 I saw her pop up. Uh, since he doesn't have to worry about Kibo, he can go ahead and execute them again. Yeah, yeah. And since this is kind of like the final run anyway. How's he going to make some more? Going to have to rebuild it, I guess. Huh? We have? Yeah, so I'll let Monotaro explain. <laughs> Sounds great. Let's do it. Huh? I've already forgotten what we're even talking about. Yeah, that's... And then all the drool, that's, that's Monotaro. Oh, crap, he's gonna push it! It's gonna be Monokin all over again! The Mastermind is not in any of the photos taken in the library. Why is that? Huh? Yeah. The, the one smart one. Yeah, he's the only one who's paying attention and cares. 
Oh, that's true. In order to get to the hidden room, you need to move the bookcase, right? But Shuichi and Kaede set up those hidden cameras, so... If the Mastermind was using that door, they would have been caught on camera. Who are we arguing against here? <laughs> but none of the pictures showed anyone like that. Because she was behind Ron Tato. Right. And remember the camera interval. Yeah. Then that reasoning is wrong. Amazing, Monodum! Well done! Hold on. The hidden cameras yep. in the library had interval timers. Furthermore, the mastermind would have known about the interval timers, and we can prove it. Yep. It's true that no one else did. Wait, but if Miyu didn't say anything like that, would the mastermind have been able to know? Well, if the mastermind is the one who provided the damn things and put them in the... Well, yeah, but if I go to the grocery store and stock up someone else's fr fridge with a sausage, I don't know. Okay, that's, that's a really weird analogy, but I understand what you're saying. Are you, are you hungry? I kind of am, actually. Me and, too. And I have sausage in the fridge. Mm. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 whole seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. Oh! Perhaps the mastermind worked within that 30 second interval? So it only does that because she set it up that way. It's not a function of the camera itself. Yeah, that's why I was saying, oh. even with the nano cubs, yeah. or nano kumas, would the mastermind have known that she modified it that way? Because hmm. if if the mastermind knew about the camera intervals, then, it, then the mastermind could use them. Otherwise the mastermind just got lucky. Yeah, yeah. I see. So the mastermind hid in the hidden room, waited for the right timing, grabbed the monopad from the library, and then returned to the hidden room. Well, no, there was something else fairly important that happened. Right. Hold on. There's a flaw in your logic. He's right, there is. What? What flaw? Huh? Don't ask me. The mono cubs are gonna explain it. What? Again? <laughs> Reject your logic without explaining why. That's the Monokuma debate style. Everything that's wrong with the world, right there. Yeah. Take it from here, Mono Cubs. And you better use your brains or I'll kill ya. This is the best trial ever. We get to watch the Mono Cubs die one by one. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know what this is gonna be about. What are we right. arguing about again? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> the, the hidden camera. Isn't it weird that the mastermind's not in any photos? Unless they use the <sighs> interval between shots. Yeah. The camera has a 30 second interval between shots. That's enough time to take the monopod from the right? body. Then where was the mastermind hiding? Yeah, yeah. In the hidden room, of course. Hidden room? If they were still inside the hidden room, how would they know what was happening in the library? If you don't know when the camera went That's off... That's it. Oh, there we go. There we go. How would you know the interval timing? Bravo, Monodum. Wonderful objection. Yeah, I agree with that. Now we've escaped certain death. <laughs> if they were still inside the hidden room... <laughs> oh, no, I think it was... No, it was, it was like after Damn what he it. said after that. But, oh, I, I, I guess what I honestly didn't look and again? see. The, the hidden camera. We're doing great. Oh, God, Isn't we're almost there. The masterminds... If they were still inside the hidden room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How would they know what was... <laughs> hey! Ooh, barely made That's it. That's wrong. Barely? <laughs> Did you see the noise fading in? The mastermind saw what was happening in the library. They had surveillance cameras. Okay, Damon, you slow plotting person who is meticulous is the last person who needs to rush through things. Calm down, calm down, Damon. Surveillance cameras. What? what? Where would uh, something like that be? To be huh. fair, I had always assumed that the cameras were just in the monitors that were everywhere. Yeah, me too. But obviously that's incorrect. You don't know? Even though they're mono cubs just like you? <gasps> mono cubs? 
I mean these. Ah, so cute and tiny! <laughs> Aren't they? They're your siblings, too! That's a big reveal to drop so casual. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it kind of is, but we had to get to it at some point. These little guys are called Nanokumas. Their job is to monitor the campus. Huh, how do you know that? How do you know that? <laughs> oh, father told me. He said to make sure I told everyone. Oh my God. Because you can't succeed in a single thing, you did not do that. I had completely forgotten about it. Good thing I just remembered. Can you please just blow him up? Dumbass, you remembered too late. There are countless nanokumas buzzing all over the campus. All the footage they record is wirelessly transmitted through Mother Kuma, and then sent to Monokuma. Yes, via Mother Kuma. That's an important point. If Mother Kuma receives the camera feeds, the mastermind could ask it anything. They would know about the situation in the library and the hidden room. I see. Mother Kuma can tell them the interval timers for the cameras. Then the mastermind was in the hidden room after they stole the monopad from Rantaro. But why would they steal the monopad? Because it's the survivor's perk and that he doesn't want anybody else yeah. to see what's on it. The mastermind was probably terrified by the idea of us picking up Rantaro's perk. No, that's wrong! <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to make that joke. I wasn't necessarily afraid. The survivor perk was for Rantaro's eyes only. Sure, he could have shared the info with you. Yeah, this is reasonable. This mm -hmm. makes perfect sense. But that's not the same as getting the info directly from the monopad. That does make sense. Yeah. Because then you can't say it was a survivor perk for Rantaro's eyes only, right? So when he died, I took it back. That's all. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's true that what Monokuma just said was accurate. When Rantaro died, Monokuma or the mastermind or whoever, I mean Monokuma- It's such a mystery. I mean, Monokuma's using first person, so uh, uh. I'm gonna say Monokuma. Once Rantaro died, Monokuma did indeed take the survivor's perk monopod. Monopad. However, <laughs> he may have been the one to cause the death. Yeah. Now I only have a small idea of how we can prove that, but... Hmm. How do you figure? You look calm now, but at the time, you must have been pretty desperate. The monopad clearly stated that there was a mastermind in the academy. Yep, 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 yep. If we knew then that a mastermind was behind everything, we would have worked together. But that was such a what if the entire game. Yes, yes, that's right. And Monokuma specifically would say things like, what makes you think there even is a mastermind? But you couldn't let that happen. You needed us to go after each other. Either way, you admit the mastermind stole the monopad, right? Well, yes, but only reluctantly. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I, I believe that, too. Then the mastermind messed up. I, I actually don't think that's the problem. If they wanted to retrieve the monopad, they should have used Monokuma to do it. Ah, yes, that's that's true. Nope, that's impossible. But Monokuma was destroyed at the time. Oh, yeah. That's one of the reasons that Rontaro went there. Yeah, 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 yeah. The rules state I can't participate in a murder, which includes tampering with the crime scene. Ah! Oh, well, maybe Monokuma wasn't destroyed at the time. But he was destroyed in the chapter. Yeah, yeah, no, he was there because the Mastermind would have had to gone in to create the endless Monokumas to kill everyone. That's why he was there. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. The school rules. If you're so strict about following the rules, does that mean that someone is watching? If that's the case. Still, what a waste of a survivor perk. Oh, don't you change the subject.
trying to get a little trollololo before we move on. Gotta distract everybody by saying something vile. If only he lived a little longer, then this info would have made things interesting. Yeah, stop changing the subject. I still don't have the whole picture, but it seems that we're all being watched. In that case, this plan should go well. <laughs> if I ruin this killing game by proving that it doesn't follow its own rules, I should be able to end the whole thing. I love this dramatic Shuichi pose. Yeah. But the point of this class trial is to discuss Rantaro's case, right? The mastermind stealing his survivor perk shouldn't affect it whatsoever. Well, no. If that was all that had happened, sure, that would be true. In the end, Kaede killed him. There's no shaking off that truth. Meaning that is the point at which we need to attack. Yeah, yeah. One truth prevails. No, that's not the truth. I'm certain of that. It's a lie that you made up. <laughs> Me? Lie? <laughs> I, I'd say I can't believe he said that with a straight face, but he's only got the one. Well, he doesn't do it that often. Almost never. No, but we have seen in every single one that he will do it. That's right. Kaede wasn't the one who killed Rantaro. The true culprit is... <laughs> Mastermind. That's it. The mastermind controlling Monokuma. They're the one who killed Rantaro. The mastermind is the culprit? <laughs> Jeez, and you call yourself the ultimate detective? Trying to overturn the results of the first class trial. The Mono Cubs won't be silent about this. <sighs> Just, uh... Gonna save yeah, on yeah. account of, you know, near death. What? Us again? But we said we don't know. He is just cruelly making them argue points they don't know. But who cares? If Rantaro's killer is the mastermind, that means Kaede was the mastermind. No, 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 no. Can you prove the mastermind is the culprit? That's what yeah. I can do. Got any evidence? You want evidence Kaeda is the culprit? The shot put ball at the yep. murder scene. She used the camera flash to lure Rantaro in. That's correct. And then cracked his skull with a shot put ball. Yep, yep, Kaeda set up the whole thing. Well, that's the, that's the thing we need to argue. Even the lethal shot put ball. Oh. Kaeda had it all No, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. See, Kaeda's the mastermind after all. Is Why it, so interested in dead people? You want to crack open a cold one? Yep, yep, Kaede set up the not whole thing. Not this one. Yeah, it's not this. It's the next one. Even the lethal shot put ball. All right, after this. Kaede yep, has... Yep, that's this one. Bam! That's wrong. I can't believe that they didn't just dispose of it. Right? Well, yeah. They didn't dispose the of it. The most important fact we discovered during the investigation is this. The shot put ball that Rantaro was killed with was different than the one Kaede had. What'd you say? I have no idea what's going on! A different shot put ball? What do you mean? I found a shot put ball in the trash can in the hidden room. How sloppy! Well... But it was not the murder weapon. That shot put ball didn't have any blood on it. You'd think that if you were really trying to cover your tracks, that you wouldn't just assume nobody would ever get in here and you'd just destroy the evidence. But if the mastermind is kind of helping them because she wants to die like Junko did, you uh, know? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, no, that's the case. If that's the case, then there, yeah. yeah. Rather, there was a pink fiber stuck to that shot. And if it if the mastermind is Tsumugi, which somehow seems likely, but if that is the case, then she's not operating Monokuma. Monokuma's right. running on an AI. Right, right, right. 
pink fiber? So what? Do you remember how Kaede was carrying the shot put ball? In her backpack. Yeah. Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. And her vest is pink. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. I see. She had it in her backpack. Her backpack with a spare sweater. It was wrapped in her spare vest. Her pink vest. I see. The shop put ball you found in the hidden room had a pink fiber on it. Yes, it's a fiber from her vest. That can only mean that the ball I found was the one that was in Kaede's backpack. What, what'd you say? Really, I got no idea what you're talking about. Then why are you here? That shot put ball did not have blood on it, so it could not have been the murder weapon. In short, the shot that Kaede used didn't hit Rantaro. But then maybe they just washed off the blood. Except we found a bloody one. If so, the fiber on the shot put ball would have been washed off as well. Oh, okay, that too. It's clear to me that the real murder weapon is different than the shot Kaede had. Yes, Kaede set up the bookcase and rolled the shot into the vent. But that shot didn't hit Rantaro. Her plan failed. Now, how did this happen? I have no idea. And that's why we're going to put in a horrible cliffhanger. Ah! <laughs> the latte, who's a Nani Tokyo,